Hi, today we're talking to you about pressure and some different experiments we can do with pressure. Here at Rutherford Laboratories we have received a new affordable bell jar and we will demonstrate a few things with it today. Uh, this bell jar sucks out the air from this container, the bell. Uh, and so what we will do is demonstrate how sound needs air particles to vibrate in order for you to hear it. This bell makes a sound like this. What we will do is place the bell jar, place the alarm bell in this position. Then we will turn it on. Place the bell jar on top of it. Notice you can still hear it. Now we will turn on the compressor. Oh, not compressor. Vacuum pump. We have a nice vacuum pump. Doesn't make too much noise. And we'll just wait, see what happens. Can you hear any difference? We'll let it run for a minute. And then will turn off the compressor so you can really see if there's any difference in the sound. Now I'll turn it off. Uh, oh, I forgot to close the bell jar. Can you hear it getting louder again? Let's turn it on again. Now the important step on this little bell jar, it has a nice valve. So you just turn the valve and it keeps the air from going back in. So I'll do that before I turn off the vacuum pump. Turn off the vacuum pump. Can you hear the bell? Let me give you a close up look. Can you see it? Can you hear it? Now, watch what happens when I open the valve. Listen. Opening this valve right here. Letting the air in. Can you start to hear it? I do believe you can. It's a very neat property how air is required, some medium to transfer sound. There are particles that need to be vibrated from the source all the way to your ear. That's it for this video. Check back for more. Signing off, Mr. John.